Oftentimes, making a circuit without errors that shows the desired simulation results just isn't enough. To make a successful project, you need to be confident your circuit won't fail at production, and you need to balance the cost of components with yield. With ORCAD, you can easily predict yield on not just one, but thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of production circuits by adjusting the tolerance values of components so you can balance yield with cost. Let's consider a low-pass filter circuit. First, verify your circuit in advance for electrical and physical violations before you start piece by simulation. Now add voltage probes at the input and op-amp output to see circuit behavior in an ideal state. In this simulation graph, you can see that the voltage amplitude is decreasing beyond cutoff frequency and eventually becomes zero, which is the expected output. Here, we analyze the circuit in ideal conditions with no variation in component values, but in the real world, these values will vary. How much variation you're willing to accept comes down to your end product use and your budget. To better forecast actual results, you can define tolerance for all the parts in your circuit and simulate manufacturing yield for thousands of circuits in a statistical analysis called Monte Carlo. Go back to the circuit and add tolerance parameters Let's set circuit capacitance and resistance tolerance as 10, and select Monte Carlo from the toolbar. The more simulation runs, the more statistically accurate your results will be. Many choose to run over 10,000 simulations to ensure accuracy, but for our intents and purposes, 100 is enough to demonstrate how it works. In the Monte Carlo window, set the number of runs to 100 from the Edit menu. Now you can see a probability density graph for cutoff low-pass 3 dB bandwidth. In this case, the yield is 100%, as we can see here in the statistics. Here, the goal is yield optimization along with cost efficiency. Components with higher tolerances are more expensive than components with lower tolerances. Now I will vary circuit response by moving min and max bars and see real-time updates of yield in the statistics. If the yield is unacceptable, you can go back to the circuit and change the tolerance of components. Depending upon your end product's usage, be it mission critical for a space satellite or a simple fan controller in a residential home, you can control the balance between tolerance and cost to predict yield. With ORCAD, it's easy to predict yield for bulk production based on component tolerance range within your circuit.